It's the Joseph Bristol Show. Okay, so I was talking to my friend earlier, and I figured, yo, you know what? I got to shoot a video on that. All right, let me take off my hat. Actually, no, the sun's too hot. Sun's too bright. I'm, I, I got to wear my hat. So I was talking to my friend earlier, and um, we were talking about, like, friendship and things like that. And... You know, I figured, yo, I got to make a video on that, which I probably should have been did a long time ago when I actually had my camera and my setup and my lights and all that, but I got to do it through my phone because I'd rather make the videos as soon as I feel them than to wait. So when it comes to friendship, my thoughts on friendship, are, are, are it tends to be very different from the people around me. And this has always been the truth of my entire life growing up. I've always thought of friendship very differently. I, I've never really had many male friends Growing up, I always had the same, like, four or five male friends. And that's because my code for males is very different from how I treat my female friends. Uh, especially, I never believe in no bro code and all that, and bros before hoes and all that garbage. If I got a chick I'm, 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 I'm doing things with physically, she comes before anyone else. That's, like, my number one thing is my woman. The person making me come has always been the most important person to me in my life. At least that's my frame of mind. And especially when it comes to male friends, you break up with a chick and you don't marry her, Brad, that girl is for anybody. That's anybody's girl. It's not your girl no more. But whatever, that's a whole nother video. So as far as friendship is concerned, I wanted to make this video because I think about friendship very differently. So for me, if my friend says that they are, are interested in making movies, I'm going to do everything that I possibly can to support my friend in his movie making endeavors. So any one of my friends who has ever said to me that they wanted to be anything, it don't make a difference, a rapper, a movie star, a fucking cook at a, at a Burger King, I don't give a damn. If that's something that you're interested in, then I'm going to do whatever I can do to help you pursue and push forward into your dream, into doing whatever it is that you desire. I've never thought of a friend as like, oh, you know, let's go out and do this thing that's horrible and then we both end up in jail. That's not real friendship. I mean, it's a friend because you were there with me to do that crime. But a real friend is the person that tells you, nah, bruh, don't do that. That's not the right thing to do. Oh, you need money? Well, nah, we ain't gonna sell no dope. You could come get a job with me working at the Burger King. That, to me, is a friend, as opposed to the person who encourages you to sell dope. That's not a friend. You know what I'm saying? That's more of an enabler. And an enabler is not a friend. A friend is someone who's going to say the things that you need to hear as opposed to the things that you want to hear. So you have to define how you see friendship and then hang out with the people who understand your definition of friendship, which kind of boils back down to religion, where they say that you got to hang out with people who believe in what you believe in. Marry someone who believes in what you believe in. Marry people who believe in the same book, the same religion as you, because... Your, uh, your, your, your morals, your sense of thinking is gonna align the same. And that's the same thing with friendship. If, you know, down to whatever it is, it, and friendship kind of goes into support, which support can fall into two categories, but real support is not just verbally saying, yo, I support your dreams, I support your ideas. Real support is being there for your friend. Your friend is a musician. They say they got a concert. Show up to the concert. Your friend is an artist. They say you got an art show. Show up to the art show. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is that you believe in your friend, you have to actually support that. And a lot of times we watch cartoons and TV shows and we see on these shows displays of actual friendship. And we still don't even do that type of stuff. We believe friendship is smoking weed and sitting around getting drunk with each other. But that's not... That's not really friendship friendship is encouraging your friend to be a better person having higher expectations for your friend than they have of themselves that's real friendship friendship should make you better just like a relationship if you're in a relationship next year you should be in a better position than you were last year if you're in the same position that you were in last year and you're in a relationship your relationship ain't doing shit for you it's really holding you back life is about growth friendship is about growth that's what it's all about and, you know, I was telling my friend that, and I tend to argue with, with and really when I say friend, I, 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 I really don't use that word for everybody. Like for me personally, a lot of people are actually my associates. You're not my friend. You're just somebody that I associate with. A friend is again, someone who is there to support and be there. So people who, cons who consider me their friend, that's fine. It's nothing I could do about that. But for me to consider you my friend, then there's a lot that you have to put into that for me to consider that. 
Do you know what I mean? If somebody says, oh, Joseph, you're my friend, they'll know if I think of them as my friend because I'll do things that I don't want to do for you because you are my friend. So I'm going to put my my happiness, my, my happiness aside to ensure that my friend can succeed and has happiness. I'm going to tell you the things that I think will help you be a better person, even if that puts our friendship uh, in, in, in turmoil. I'm going to express myself openly and freely to you, and I would hope that you would do the same for me. So I just want to shoot this video real quick and while I'm outside because I got tired of being inside. And, I, and it just came to me now because I was like, you know, let me make this before I forget. In which case, there's probably a lot more that I could add to it, but before I forget, yeah. Thank you for watching another episode of the Joseph Bristol Show. Let's all never forget we all out here trying to do the same thing. Just be happy and survive. Make sure you like and subscribe.